they? No, it means that we have waiting for us in Hollywood the man himself, <coughs> pardon me, John Michael Housen. Morning, John Michael. Good morning, Bert. Good morning, Australia. It's great to have you here, and I'm not too sure whether you know or not, but we also have a former friend of yours here, here with us this morning. Molly Meldrum is here. Hi, too. John. Uh, Hello, Ian. Ian's not a former friend. He's a good friend of mine. Absolutely. He's given Very his side of the story of, of what happened a couple of weeks ago. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just brief it for you. He said in the, uh, in the uh, obviously he'd been drinking in the afternoon because having dinner <laughs> no, that night very I early in the piece, you fell over and 19 people had to come to your aid. You then wanted to disrobe in the restaurant and then you shouted out obscenities about the Pope. Now, um, well, it, what's your say? <laughs> well, actually I've just been reading about Molly in a local paper. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that child escapes. <laughs> ah, he's wicked. Nothing like a bit of visual comedy. No. What actually, no. from, from your point of view, what actually happened on that night, John Michael? Well, apart from the fact that they don't welcome people wearing hats that have been surgically adjust, attached to someone's scalp and <laughs> puffing on cigarettes, where we got a corner, a seat, that if we'd have been one foot to the left, we would have been in the car park. That didn't please me to start off with. But anyway, looking over that and being quite serious, I am very tired of pop stars, so-called, I don't think they're stars at all, I don't even think they're the, the dust from a real star, people who get up and um, sing songs that are about things which I don't, I mean the lyric of a song is a very important thing because there is this message going out that you can do anything to anybody at any time you wish to and I don't think that's very good and I certainly don't agree with people who use religious symbols as phallic symbols, in other words as penises. I think that's very objectionable to people who may have, and this is not just me who's a Catholic, but all Christians. I wouldn't use a, a Hindu symbol uh, to insult him, Hindus and certainly I wouldn't use the star and crescent to uh, to, uh, uh, and, and I'd certainly if I did that, I think I'd probably have a price on my head to, to uh, uh, offend Muslims. I think there are certain things where people should be very, very aware of the feelings of other people. Now, that doesn't say you have to agree with those other people, but you should be very aware that the symbols may be very dear and very important to those people and treat them with due respect. And I don't think that that so-called creature of the stage and screen, Madonna, uh, has done that. I think that, you know, it's an appalling thing. The, her whole act is appalling. Okay, Molly wants to, to say, I'm sure the, the, the plural's pina, isn't it? Anyway, here's, uh, here's Molly to... No, I mean, <laughs> his, his opinion's his opinion, you know. I mean, like, you know, I'm sure he enjoyed the sound of music and that's fine. <laughs> I, I enjoy a lot of things. I mean, I enjoy... I think there are some wonderful entertainers in the world today, but I am very aware, and if you can defend that, I mean, you gave a very good tirade, Ian. Of Do you defend it, Molly, as a matter of interest? And I mean, can you defend somebody using a crucifix as a phallic symbol? Molly? Uh, the thing with Madonna is that she's acting out No, can you, can you defend it? Forget Madonna. Can you defend it? I accept theatre for what it is, John, yes. You, can, you say that it's all right to use the most sacred thing of the Christian religion as a phallic symbol. That's all right with you. Well, she's not actually using it as a phallic symbol. I mean, she used it as a phallic symbol. Where? She when? She put it between... When, in John? one of her first videos. With one of her first videos, she took the cross and she put it between her legs. Now, I'm sorry. What video that was that, John? to me is objectionable. Oh, I don't know at all. Cacophony of noise to me. Oh, I don't know what it was. Well, I don't follow these. I don't follow these people with the great interest you I think it, that was done in one of her... I think it was White Christmas. Uh, it, no, but it, it was it was it was used in one of her early videos. No, I mean I, I think that John, um, unfortunately, he doesn't like that form of music. He hates rap. That's not the no, music he's talking about. No, that's not John. To do that's with exactly that. what that you said. That is not the music. The music is only part of it. Since I don't like rap singers who come out and say you sh it's all right to go and kill cops. I mean I think that that's an appalling thing, absolutely appalling. That that if I went out and said wrote a song and said you go out and kill children or women, or Jews, or gays, or anybody, blacks, I would never get on air. And yet these people make these recordings saying, go out and kill the cops. There's some buffoon here at the moment who's just come out with a song about killing the president, for God's sake. Now, if I was to write a note to the White House and say, I'm going to kill the president, the FBI would have me in charge. The moment they sing this stuff, it suddenly becomes artistic and therefore freedom of speech, and you can't touch it. Yeah, I've got and I think that's absolutely true. Yeah, I've got to say, in fairness, I think the majority of opinion is represented by what, what John Michael's saying this morning. Uh, don't you agree? No, I agree. I agree. I, I think the thing is that we're 
John, I wasn't um, arguing about the fact of what Madonna was doing as far as, you know, her, uh, her thing with the, cruci the crucifix and that. John maintains that Madonna has no talent whatsoever. Absolutely none that at all. That might be a separate issue, though. Well, but that's what, he, or that, that's what I was arguing with him that night, you know, more than anything else. He said, oh, but you're paid by the record companies to like these people. That's rubbish, you know. How good is she, in your I opinion? I think she's very talented. And if John went along and saw her in concert, and I'm sure if he met her, he'd probably swoon and faint anyhow, um, then uh, I'm sure he'd be very impressed. Hmm. I, listen, I, meet, I tell you something, in Hollywood I meet stars probably three, three or four or five times a week. Most of them haven't got two brain cells to rub together. They've all got wind tunnels in their heads. So, I mean, meeting Madonna, I would probably have the same effect that, that, that uh, these other people do, and that's a big <gasps> yawn. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. I mean, there, is, there, are cert, there are some stars I certainly would, you know, hold in, in great admiration. I think there are some wonderful performers around. But it's very interesting, you know. I think one of the reasons that country music is outselling everything else in the United States, at least, is because people are just tired of the assault that goes on with these people. You know, it seems to me that part of their marketing is shock. It is nothing to do with whether they can entertain or they can't entertain. It is like it's all geared to shock. You know, so they're constantly thinking up something yet more to, to shock that. people. You, you agree? I tend to agree slightly on that, yes. Yeah. 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 Well, that's some ground we've made up this morning anyway. <laughs> we've only got a couple of minutes now, John, but, it, but it's certainly been worthwhile having a, a chat to you this morning. As I say, with no bias at all, I really believe that what you've been saying this morning would be the opinion of the majority of people. Um, mm. you know, I just, I think she's, a, the one thing I don't agree with John Michael about is I think she's a very talented lady, for my opinion, what, what, what it's worth. Yeah. But I just don't see where you get no, I think by Madonna, using a crucifix I agree. like I that. Think and Madonna also, goes over the top, you know. Well, I'm sure she does, but that's a separate issue. <laughs> I, I, I just feel you, you don't get anywhere by, by as John rightly says, yeah. using the most significant symbol of the mm. Christian church. Uh, we, 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 we better let him get on with it, because well, you know, actual fact, hysterically he gets if you take his time as well. I we've mean, got, we've got time to mention only one thing, and that is uh, Strictly Ballroom. How's it going in America, John Michael? Well, Strictly Ballroom hasn't opened yet. Oh, it'll be, be great. I'd season. love it. I'd love it. The first show, I'd love it. the first Wednesday of next year, we have uh, Gavin Disney and Daryl Summers, which should be a, <laughs> uh, a real beauty. That'll be the... Uh, the main I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, John Michael. And uh, Thanks, we'll talk Bernard, to John Michael America on Friday. No, I wish you a very happy Christmas, mate. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone in Australia and lots of love to all my friends and relatives. It's been wonderful working with you this, week, uh, this year and uh, look forward to next year, mate. Thank you, Bert. All the best. And thank you, Mike. Uh, uh, Molly, too. Just That's stay around there just for a second, will you, mate? Because I've got to go over and say hello to somebody. All right. That was quite painless, wasn't it? That was absolutely yeah. painless. I'll yeah. see you soon. Actually, it's Sol Pattinson time, so with, uh, with Kodak.